When a woman finds security emotionally, financially, spiritually, and in the relationship in your, at your home, a woman becomes secure. And she's less subject to the prey of Jezebel trying to take advantage of her and use her. But if kids grow up and they see mom and dad, if they see mom having to manipulate to get her way because dad isn't appreciating and valuing and honoring her, the, the wife, and the wife's like, I gotta get my way, and there's always double strategies going on. Dad says, does this, and the woman says, no, you do this. Or the other cookie example, where the man does with the wife. You have to be in agreement when you parent. So they need to know. If mom says it, and if, it's the same thing as dad saying it. If dad says it, it's the same thing as mom saying it. You gotta parent put together. It's not easy, of course, but you gotta be strategic about it. Is that making sense? And so you, you can work that out. And, and you can teach your children that the way to get things is God's way and the right way. So you, then you're helping your child. By the time they're a teenager, they, they know manipulation is not the answer in the world. Are you making sense? You give a daughter the love of a father, she's not going to be prey to men that want to take advantage of her. A son that experienced the love of the father is not going to be prey to take advantage of others. You build a secure home. And sometimes it's hard to do because we grew up in insecure families that didn't have this type of security. But you've come to Jesus, you've come into the kingdom of God, and you have the opportunity to change. And you can change right now. And you might say, well, pastor, I've already raised my children and I think in some ways, maybe I made some mistakes. Maybe they messed up. All right. Fine. We still have God. He restores. He heals. He preserves. He protects. God never gives up, and neither should you. On your children or your grandchildren or your kid. Don't give up on them. Now let God get involved. Don't try to change them. Don't try to, if they're, if they're old now, don't try to control them. That's what I see. A lot of times in ministry, parents, it's very hard. They try to force change upon their children once they're past a certain age. You can't force your children to change. Why do young people in our church change? You know why? Because I don't force them to change. We just love them, tell them the truth. And I found amongst our young people, our younger audience, our young adults, they're more resilient to the truth. They want authenticity. They want the truth. They're tired of hypocrisy. They're tired of lying. They're tired of BS in the church. But you just tell them the word of God. They want to follow Jesus. And they, you know, they work through their stuff. And they figure it out. And they start doing God's word. Are you with me? So you got to love your children. And I know it's, it's already a mess. you got, you got some work to do there. But God will give you wisdom. God would help you. Is that making sense? And so... Sometimes the deployment of Satan's schemes start when you're very young. And they start in a home that's imbalanced or dysfunctional to some degree. And, and then we all have somewhat of a dysfunctional home life, don't we, that we grew up. Few people don't. Most families I've met have some level of dysfunction. But that's where Jesus comes in. And then you can change the course of your families and generations by having a functional family with God's values and then you teach that on for your generations and you change, change this narrative, change the story. 